Hey guys, Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm back up in eastern Ontario. It's negative 5 degrees today. It's going to go down to negative 14 plus the wind chill tonight. I'm at a new spot I've never been and I need to find a camping spot. I'm warm, man. I've lost my hat and gloves and everything, trying to find the perfect spot. And this spot's nice and level. I've got a little bit of an opening, some conifers around me, so that should be good. I need to make a natural shelter tonight, so I need, I need resources. going to make a, a debris hut and I'll have my entrance here and I'll be able to crawl in just enough room for me to sleep but I can't have all these un, these branches hanging underneath and stuff so that's why I'm clearing them away everything's frozen all the woods covered in a layer of ice it rained last night it got to like 10 degrees positive yesterday and rained last night and today it's down to negative four. I'm gonna get real cold again, so everything's frozen over. It's gonna be a little, yeah, oh yeah. Even the boughs are ice. It's gonna be a little difficult. I'm all done clearing the brush underneath. I don't think I'm gonna move the snow out just because then the ground will be more uneven. I'm just gonna pack the snow down as much as I can. But I have to lay underneath this and see that I'm gonna fit. So I wanna measure where I wanna put my head and my feet. So this is pretty good. If I stop it here, I can make the entrance on the side here, down to my feet, and then I'll just crawl in, tuck down, and be a cocoon. I'm not gonna sleep next to the fire. I will have a fire to cook on and stuff, but I'll, I'm gonna rely on my gear to keep me warm tonight. I've gotta get building. I gotta put a bunch of branches down there, and I'm gonna use a lot of the branches that I took off the tree already. Here you can see what I've started to do. I'm placing the ribs on uh, just as a framework. I'm staggering them one on this side and then kilt it down a bit. Boom, 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 vice versa. Um, I'm almost done with the ribs. I still have to put a little bit more by my head and by my feet, but uh, I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna start filling in the <clears throat> with the boughs. I have to put a little, little sticks first to hold the boughs up and then some boughs. Uh, I'm hopefully going to not have to cut down any live trees for us. I'm gonna be using um, cedar boughs. And a lot of these cedar boughs are from this tree that's been laying down already that I just cleaned up the edge, uh, the boughs off. I may go around and take some boughs off other trees, but I'm not gonna kill the tree. I'm not gonna take a full tree down. And I'm going to try to take as much off of downed trees as possible, which there is quite a few uh, right around this immediate area. I'm almost at my shelter. I need a little bit more boughs. And I've been walking around trying to find a downed tree and I hit the mother load. I found this big old spruce up here that fell down and the uh, spruce bells will make good shelter. few more arm loads like that and I'll be in good shape. Natural shelters, man. It takes some effort. Ah, it's not even that hard work, really. It's just walking around looking for materials. I don't want to I don't want to take down trees to use for boughs. It's not necessary. I'm not in a survival situation. 
like you saw, I was picking up spruce boughs that, that off the spruce that fell over and cutting cedar boughs off this. Cedar, uh, eastern white cedar, three oxygen talus, really isn't good. Uh, it's not dense enough for shelter building, for, for insulation or for shingling. Uh, the spruce and the balsam fir are, are good. My shelter needs a little bit more work done to it, but as of now, I'm comfortable sleeping in it. So um, if I have time, I'll gather some more boughs and stuff and put it on. I, I'm not trying to keep out rain because it's going to be so cold tonight that I know it's not going to rain. I'm not trying to keep out snow either because I can just I can handle snow. What I'm trying to do is just keep my warmth all in this cocoon. That's why I made it so small. I just I want every all of my warmth kept in. Um, and I know that's not airtight by any means, but it will do something for me. So I think now I'm going to go after some firewood. I don't see many hardwood here at all. It's mostly cedar. So I am using my fire to cook tonight. Uh, and I need it to stay warm until I go to bed. So I do need a substantial amount of fire, ah, uh, firewood. Here we go. I want to get my sleeping bag open and starting to fluff out because it's down and I want it to all loft up before I go to bed. It is, it's only two o'clock now. So by the time I get into bed by nine or 10, it will be completely lofted up. But I'm not just using the sleeping bag. The way that I'm going to use it in conjunction, I'm not going to drape it over top of the sleeping bag because then that would compress the down, right? And whenever down is compressed, it loses its warmth or at least its potential warmth. So I'm going to line the inside of the sleeping bag with the wool blanket. And that way, I'm going to get the best of both worlds. I'm going to get the warmth from the wool blanket and the sleeping bag, and I'm not going to compress the down. So in order to do this properly, I want to lay my sleeping bag out completely open. My wool blanket, and I'm not going to open it up completely, and I'm going to leave it in half, my wool blanket, so that I can get inside my wool blanket, and I'm going to have wool blanket on the bottom, We'll blanket on the top, sleeping bag on the bottom, sleeping bag on the top. The sleeping bag will be compressed underneath me, but that's where your sleeping pad comes in. All right, the shelter's done for today. I've been working on it a little bit more. I'm satisfied with it. When I go to bed, I put the, the sled up there like a door if I want. Not really that necessary, but it will block a little bit more window. I can just take something like that too. No big deal. But I'm happy with the shelter now. So it's three o'clock. I got some firewood cut. So with the shelter completed and firewood cut, I still need to get a little bit more firewood, but I think now is a good time to find a place where I am gonna have the fire. I'm not gonna have it obviously in front of the shelter. Um, I'm using cedar and it's supposed to be gusts of 40 km hour winds tonight. I'm just not gonna chance it. So I think over here behind a tree will be a good idea. The tree will block the wind. I'll have the fire on this side. I'll sit against the tree. Everything should be good. So if I sit here, this is pretty comfortable. I'll put my pad underneath the rest of my back. And if I want my legs stretched out, I'm gonna want the fire probably a foot away from my feet. So. So here you can see my fire lay. It's not exactly an upside down fire, more, more of just a platform. It's all cedar. I got some big rounds on the bottom and uh, I'll start the fire on top. Maybe it'll be like an upside down fire, we'll see. Uh, and then I've got my squirrel cooker holding my pot over top. That's gonna, how I'm gonna cook my food. I have a dehydrated chili, which I'm gonna rehydrate in this. And the squirrel cooker, again, by Kestrel Bushcraft. Uh, he's out of the UK, I believe. He made this for me. It's got one piece here, second piece here. That piece gets stabbed in the ground and you just hook 
second piece on there. You can cook your squirrel, your steak, hang it, you, as a, use it as a fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use it as a, uh, a pot hanger, I mean. So, very cool. I'm excited, to get, I'm excited to use that. I haven't used it yet. I've been working nonstop since I got here. Busy, busy. So I need to take a little bit to relax. I'm gonna go walk down to the river, check her out. snowing now very cool yeah it's coming down now it's snowing quite a bit they said we had a chance of getting a storm from Texas um, and the winds been picking up and the snow is coming so but we are gonna get it we'll see Exhausted. I just went on like an hour hike. I didn't take any video. I got some pictures. Maybe I'll put them at the end of the video. I was sitting here getting cold. I don't really have too much more to do. Maybe cut a little bit of firewood, but I was getting cold. I figured let's go for a hike. And I just kept walking. <laughs> it's a nice area. The snow, snow falling makes it even nicer. So very cool. If you guys want to check out the gear that I used for this trip, I have a video on that. I'll put the links in the description and at the end of the video. I used uh, I used that pulk to pull all my stuff in. I used a duffel bag and uh, to fit all of my gear in except for like my axe and my saw, my wool blanket. But it worked pretty good. Just gonna sit here and relax for a little bit and start up the fire soon. That's thunder. and the birds going crazy. Fancy. I was gonna say I'm gonna go take advantage of the river and get some water, so. I don't never heard thunder in the winter time before. Yeah, shit's getting real right now. This is a storm, big time. I have to uh, start my fire right now because if I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get it started. This is, this is substantial. So I didn't really go into depth with that at all. I lit the fire with a fire steel and birch bark. It took a while, the birch bark was wet. Uh, yeah, I was real, real uh, anxious to get that fire going because the way it was coming down there for a minute, it seemed like that, was gonna hap that wasn't gonna stop. It was gonna be like that all night. It's still snowing, but that was intense. My camera is soaking wet, so I hope, hope the mic and the camera are okay. I have to try and dry it out, but. Crazy. I can tell the water's boiling now because the whole thing's shaking, like the bubbles are creating the, the motion, so I can just slide this over. Let it cool for a second. And throw my dehydrated chili right in. So here's my dehydrated chili, my wife made, and that's about a meal and a half there. But I am feeling pretty hungry, so I'm gonna put a lot in. We'll see how much I can fit in there with the water. Got her all in. Fancy. 
fancy. I have to change my layers. I have to put my uh, puffy in the middle because the, ce the cedar is so sparky and ah, and the direct the wind's changing every two seconds. And I do not want to put holes in that puffy already. Shit. Like that. So this goes against what I was saying about the sleeping bag being compressed, the down being compressed in it, but this is the better of the two, so this is how it's going. There's what she looks like. Super hearty and thick. Be a good meal. Then I have some crushed M&M peanuts for dessert. Oh, and a baby bell. Baby bell. All right, moment of truth here. She's steamy. Oh, I better give her a second. It looks like it's gonna burn my mouth. I kind of mashed the fire all together. It's uh, 541, I started the fire at 510. I haven't added anything to it. So it's going pretty good. Um, it's cedar, so it burns quick. But anyways, I mashed her down because she was kind of rolling everywhere. I'm just gonna have a normal fire now and add, I found a piece of maple, so I'll be able to have some hardwood. Mm. Very good. I'm lucky I picked this spot where I did. I'm in a gully in between two hills. And you can hear, I can see the trees swaying and you can hear the, the wind behind me blowing like crazy and I'm okay down in here. It's not so bad. My fire is not really going too crazy right now. Like it is windy, don't get me wrong, but if I was up on a ridge, it would be no go. So there's a drawback to being in the gully like I am. Maybe the cold air settles down. It's a little bit more damp and stuff, but I'm gonna take that over top of the wind any day. Supper was good, I'm full. There's always room for a little bit of chocolate, you know? Well, M&M &M peanut in my life. Hear it? It's freaking nuts out there, man. Crazy. Well, there's not much left to do now. It's six o'clock. It's gonna get dark really soon and temperature's gonna drop real quick. It's supposed to get to negative 15 now, I just looked. We do have cell service where I am. So my phone is on airplane mode. Looked at what the, the predictions were for tonight. Earlier it was negative 14, they've dropped it down to negative 15 plus wind chill. And I can't figure out what it is on my phone, but. It's gonna be cold. Not much is going on. After supper, I went down and cleaned my pot. Boiling up some river water for some hot chocolate. Looking forward to it. We got the chocolat chaud, or hot chocolate. This one's after eight mint. I likes me some after eight mint hot chocolate. Mmm, chocolatey. Mm. That hits the spot. That's very good. It's uh, 7.49 right now, so almost eight o'clock. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn in around nine o'clock. Maybe sit here till 10, but I highly doubt it. The fire's keeping me warm. I'm finally burning my hardwood. I found one dead standing maple. So it's given off a lot more BTUs. I'm, I'm actually feeling the fire, it's good. I think I'm gonna boil up some water and uh, pour it in my Nalgene and bring it in my sleeping bag with me when I go to bed. It's just uh, a little bit extra warmth, you know, put it in the small of your back or between your legs. It's nice to have. I'm headed to bed, trying to warm up in here. <laughs> Good night, wish me luck.
Hey guys, good morning. I'm not gonna lie, I slept good till about three o'clock in the morning. Woke up to pee and toss and turn until about 3.45. I cannot go back to sleep, just anticipating the drive home and uh, trying to beat the storm. Well, I beat, beat most of it. I'm almost home and uh, you can see she's coming down. So I'm happy to be almost home. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you uh, learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm glad that I was able to get another winter camping video out for you guys. Uh, stay tuned. There will be more videos coming up soon.